Do you have a safe room in your house? This closet is our safe room. It's tornado season in North Texas, and I think having a safe room designated is important. It's big enough for Judy and me to be in for an hour or so. In fact, I suppose if our granddaughters were over, we could put everyone in here for a little while. I wouldn't want to stay very long in a space this confined. I'd be anxious for the storm to pass and then to get out and go on with life. I want us to think for just a couple of minutes about the storms of life that are not weather related. I suppose we're facing some of those right now with this coronavirus and the financial difficulties that come because of that. I don't want to enumerate all of the problems that we face in life. You know all of those. Financial, relationship, disappointments, death itself. And as I talk about a safe place for those storms, I think immediately of Psalm 46, verse 1. The Lord is our strength and our refuge, a very present help in the time of trouble. When the scripture talks about his help, it isn't saying that he's going to take those difficulties away. He hasn't promised to make life a bed of roses. He's talked more about the thorns of life and the storms. He promises to go through those with us rather than allowing us to avoid them. Do you remember that the Apostle Paul himself asked the Lord three times that a thorn might be removed from his flesh? The Lord basically said no. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. Jesus himself suffered tremendously while he was here on earth. Don't use the Lord to try to get out of problems. Now, I still pray. In fact, I'm praying right now that the Lord will end this coronavirus. But the main point is he protects us from the devil takes away the guilt of our sin, saves us from hell. That's the reason he's such a great, safe place. I'm about ready to leave this closet. Get on with life. The beautiful thing about the Lord as a safe place is you don't ever leave him. The storm may pass. You live in him.